Well, with everyone staying at home right now, a lot of people say they've run out of things to do. But today we're showing you a few films that you can watch with the family to spend quality time. Alfred Richard is joining us with a few of his favorites this weekend. Hi, Alfred. Hello, Sheba. Back here in the secret broadcast cave and we've got a few choices for the public out there. Great. First, as Hollywood and Broadway always say, the show must go on. Mm -hmm. Well, in this case, Andrew Lloyd Webber, the man who gave us the Phantom of the Opera. Remember, the Phantom of the Opera. Well, they're going to be providing free performances of his famous plays. Last week, he did the Phantom of the Opera. This week, it's going to be Love Never Dies, which is a sequel, a sort of sequel, to the Phantom of the Opera, and it's available tonight. You can go to andrewlloydweber.com. It's all one word, andrewlloydweber.com, and find the information. You can watch it on YouTube. And as for films, well, we have a few. Let's okay. go with Crackle, first of all. The first Crackle is a classic one that I really like. It's called The Last Picture Show directed by Peter Bogdanovich. It's set in 1959, the fictional Texas town. It stars Timothy Bottoms, Jeff Bridges, Sybil Shepard, Cloris Leachman. Yes, we know Cloris Leachman as a comedic actress, but she actually won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress for her performance there, and Ellen Burstyn from the film. And she also did Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore. Really great film great direction by Bogdanovich and performances. It is in black and white, but it's definitely worth seeing. And Crackle's a uh, streaming service? Cra Crackle's a streaming service. Okay. You also can get a classic science fiction film, one of my favorites, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Remember, you're next. They could be coming after you as well. And William Holden and Gloria Swanson in the classic Sunset Boulevard. You may have, even you, Sheba, may have seen the classic line, I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. Well, oh, yeah. it's, okay. it's a great movie and wonderful performances looking into Hollywood from the past leading into Hollywood of today. Okay. In the Voodoo streaming service, again, some of these are for free, some you have to pay for. Mm -hmm. There's Sing Street, a musical which takes us back to 1980s Dublin, Ireland, dealing with music family and the troubles that were going on at that time between Northern Ireland and North Ireland itself. And one of my favorites, The Artist. Now this one, best picture a few years ago, it's a, it's a silent movie. It was a oh. rare silent movie, but it's done very much like Singing in the Rain or A Star is Born, showing how a star rises and then falls. How long is it? As, it's actually less than two hours, less than two hours, but it's actually a pretty good film. Okay. You'll get caught up in it. And even the dog will like the film because there's a wonderful part where dogs are in this movie, but they don't get to say anything. So, well, it's a, they're barking up the wrong tree there. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Um, as, for, as for Netflix, one of my favorites, Self Made, The Life of Madam C.J. Walker. I've actually heard a Young lot about this one. Very good movie, and it's about a young woman who develops products for African Americans, beauty products and care products, and Octavia Spencer plays Madam C.J. Walker. And of course, I'm a bad film fan, but I'm not throwing any flags at this one. It's Mystery Science Theater 3000, The Return, where Joel and the bots are talking over really cheesy movies, but it's worth the effort. If you're cooped up in space like Joel is and Jonah in this series, then you can appreciate being cooped up in your home and watching a really cheesy movie. Mystery Science Theater 3000, The Return. Alfred, just listen to the name of it. Well, it's perfect. <laughs> I used to run a worse film festival for years. Yeah. And, and finally, Hidden Figures. Ah. Now, we just had the passing of Katherine Johnson, who was one of the women featured in this film. Yes. Therese Bay Henson, Octavia Spencer, and Janelle Monet are the young women who show that they were the minds behind a lot of the NASA and Apollo space programs yeah. back in 
60s. It's really amazing good. math, amazing story, amazing women. We got to go, though, Alfred. So we like this one a lot. Thank you so much. I'm going to recommend you guys read the book before you watch the movie. I'm adding to the assignment. Thank <laughs> Thanks, Alfred. That's the homework. <laughs> All right, Sheba. Thank All you. Right.